Welcome back, everybody. Uh, today we have an interesting topic that we actually talked about not too long ago, uh, which is AI and how it's uh, being used uh, regarding spear phishing attacks and cybersecurity. But um, there's other ways that it can be used. And I'm curious, Tom, what are some other ways that you expect AI to be used uh, most likely here in the, in the near future? Yeah, that's a great question. I want to back up a little bit. And I, I, and, and talk about this, this natural language processing that chat GPT has, mm -hmm. that is, a, is astounding everyone. And, uh, and, and the true revolution that I believe artificial intelligence application or practical application of artificial intelligence is really bringing to the global society. This is this, I consider this as we were discussing earlier, I consider this yet another seminal event in the last few technological re revolutions that are certainly important to us in my, in, mm -hmm. in my personal life. Uh, you know, it started with, uh, in my case, you know, in my life, it, it was the personal computer back in the 80s. And then it was the internet. Mm -hmm. I mean, truly, both of those were revolutionary. And now the next one that I've seen of, of really that this seminal event in human history is this artificial intelligence and, and the, the pros and the cons. But the simple point of the matter is just like in the days of the, when the internet was created, no one could foresee the implications of that invention. And I was embracing it 100%, but it was that moment in time that says, I can't anticipate everything that yep. this technology, and I'm still to this day amazed at being able to have the power of a supercomputer. And, mm -hmm. you know, compared to the eighties, you've got a supercomputer in the palm of your hand while you're, you're surfing Facebook anywhere you want yeah. to around the world. And, 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 and we still haven't fully realized all of that. So to keep this video a little brief, this is what, that's the stage we're at with artificial intelligence. Now, since we're a cybersecurity company and an IT company, uh, what I am seeing and what I predict we are going to see really soon is not just the tar automation of targeted attacks, you know, mm -hmm. these con jobs with phishing emails, and now they're going to be spear phishing emails done at scale. But let's take a look at and consider some of the other ways hackers can use artificial intelligence. So one of the other things in, in the overall arsenal of cyber weapons that the, the bad guys and these countries, these nation states have is uh, reconnaissance, mm -hmm. you know, study the enemy or the target or the victim, depending on your viewpoint. So one of the things that has been manually done by criminals in the past, or there's been some automation. Uh, around saying finding vulnerabilities, right? Yeah. You know, vulnerabilities in firewalls and servers and other things that gives them an opportunity to exploit. So even though they may write a script and they and they absolutely are automating discovery of these vulnerabilities, then they're notified or they see a vulnerability, then manually they start seeing how to go right. about exploiting it with the application of AI. They can do reconnaissance to where they AI will go out and say, who's this server? What is being stored on it? What's the size of the company? How many employees they've got? And they've got a lot more intelligence in a very, very short period of time in front of them before they begin. They can start planning a more successful hack into that organization. So it's going to be even more devastating, potentially. Mm -hmm. You know, the Colonial Pipeline attackers didn't know who it, it was. was they just... Yeah. It was just, they didn't realize they don't like to get on CNN <laughs> yeah. and the front page of the Washington Post. That's not good for their business. Uh, and they apologized for the attack. They still wanted their four and a half They'll million dollars. Yeah. Uh, but in all honesty, if they had realized that that would have been a lot more than four and a half million dollars, that would have been a 20 million or $50 million ransomware demand because they didn't have the intelligence on their victim or their prey. Mm -hmm so to speak. So th that's just one of the ways that re AI uh, enhanced reconnaissance will make the hacker better informed about their victim. 
they can use AI to discover more details about the technical parts and, and then scour the web for additional expertise to exploit unknown vulnerabilities? Or is there, you know, going into the actual details and highly automate much, if not most of the, the actual attack. Mm -hmm. And then they'll just pick up and automate that at ransomware attack. So say it is another petroleum distribution company. AI is going to allow them properly do reconnaissance, gain a lot more intelligence automatically in almost in real time <laughs> milliseconds yeah and and do the whole thing automatically and that can be applied that that same strategy can be applied whether it's a server backdoor workstation key loggers take workstation key logger data you know they've got now, now they'll write a script to test stolen credentials against mm -hmm. other types of accounts and everything but what if they used it to do recon on the actual person that those credentials belong to? Now we're talking identity theft, revenue streams for the criminals, and, and just all sorts of in, uh, information, you know, data that they can sell to uh, nation states, data that can be published to WikiLeaks. It, 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 we, I, I, we just truly don't know all the possibilities there are out there. And I am every single day I'm thinking about this and researching it. And, uh, you know, we, we, we the, all of us that are, all of us that are trying our best to wrap our heads around this are all doing the same thing. And so yeah. are the bad guys. So, uh, we'll see what happens. And, yeah. uh, Really, what you can expect is uh, cyber attacks in the past couple of years, of course, ransom uh, payouts, the average ransomware payout cost has been increasing year and year uh, dramatically. And so with AI technology, one, like you said, the devastation of those attacks, those ransomware payouts could double, triple, and it's justified because uh, they've used AI to figure out exactly what they really should be uh, making these these uh, victims or these prey pay and uh, you can also see these success rates of these cyber attacks uh, shoot through the roof because efficiency and like you said more information and it's just really making it uh, i guess you could say easier for them absolutely to, to implement a successful cyber attack uh, and all you can do is prepare and hopefully uh, adjust with the wave of technology um, that the cyber attackers are are doing as we speak, really. Yeah. So, so it, it allows them, it's not just the increase in the ransomware attacks. Yeah. It, it allows them to more accurately set the ransom around the victim, because obviously if you're a solopreneur, maybe you, you, you know, your business is small and that's the way you want it, but you make a lot of money at it. Maybe you do $200,000 mm -hmm. a year and, it, and it's just you. That's fantastic. Right? Well, they're leaving a lot of money on the table if they just see the one computer and ask for $500 or $3,000. Yeah. So that artificial intelligence is going to allow for a more targeted. On the flip side, they see a bunch of computers. I say 10 computers, and that means it's will set a, I don't know, a $30,000 attack. But that company may only be grossing $500,000 a year, and they'll just they just can't afford it. For mm -hmm. whatever reason, the more intelligence they gather, they may lower the ransomware demand because ultimately they're looking at the metrics on what is going to drive the most revenue for this attack. The, the highest right. success rate and the most revenue. It's a, it's a, if anybody's been in economics, that's, yes. that's the curve. That's the price curve, right? <laughs> so an AI is going to be able to, Godly, that just blew my mind right there with uh, the implications <laughs> on economics yeah. uh, studies. Uh, uh, yeah. So anyway, I think we need to wrap this one up and yeah. uh, and look forward to uh, keep tuned. We might do another one here in another week or so or two weeks, and then, then we're going to sit back and we're going to start watching. I highly encourage you to sign up for our threat advisories. We sent yes. one out on this very topic. And I predict that we are going to begin to send more threat advisories as we see criminals and other attackers start using this technology against all of us. Now, the good news is we've been using artificial intelligence from a defensive standpoint uh, for years now. 
That's exactly right. And, and it's going to increase as well, but it's going to become a battle of synthetic thinking machines. So stay tuned. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate your time. Thank you.